Hi everybody, it's Russ from our Adventures, the Grumpy Yorkshireman, in his uh, man cave, and uh, going to talk about toolboxes. I'm one of the world's worst at uh, carrying too much uh, gear with me. I always, I always have this uh, uh, fear. If I haven't taken it with me, I need it. If I have taken it with me, I don't. So I always take it with me. And I always take far too, too much. And um, I would say, probably when I go to Morocco, 80% of the gear that I've got with me, I probably don't use, but it's a lot of it's emergency stuff. We're looking after customers. We're, uh, it's not all about ourselves. And we carry a lot of uh, uh, general spares as well for, uh, Land Rover products, wheel bearings, UJs, we carry a bit of stuff for Jeeps as well and, uh, and we carry a, a fuel filter for the Toyota because hopefully that's all it's ever going to need uh, but you know that, that apart because we're in lockdown 2 in the UK a bit of time on our hands and uh, we're starting to, I'm starting to uh, sort a few things out today we are at go 2, I've had a uh, camera fitted, uh, driving camera fitted, so if, well, why, why have you done that? Well there's a few good reasons for it. There's only one bad reason uh, or, or a, a bad side to having a camera fitted in the vehicle and that's if you have an accident it's your fault, maybe not so, such a good thing to have it, but uh, if you have an accident and it's not your fault it's a brilliant thing to have. You. Very few people remember uh, to leave the uh, ignition on uh, auxiliary or, or, or the first turn uh, if you have a, a, a light bump because what happens it turns the camera off if you've uh, not got live feed so you know, it's, a, it's a quite a cynical thing to have to remember but it's not a bad one that you don't turn uh, the car off uh, and all, all the electrics off and you make sure your camera's still running and if you're going to have a converse, com, conversation and then it's a confrontation it might be both with anybody if you do have a bump always make sure you have that conversation stood in front of your vehicle so that your know, mannerisms and everything the camera's pick, picking up on it uh, another important thing do not tell the person you're talking to that you've got a camera don't mention the camera because if you're up against some new uh, you know and you're in a foreign country uh, or you know what, what whatever you know if you're up, you're up against somebody who's uh, quite intimidating if they go and uh, grab your camera out and throw it away it's not done much good so just remember the good things and uh, about the camera uh, and use it to your advantage so that's one thing we've had done today, we've fitted a camera. Been to Halfords in Selby and got that fitted. Uh, the whole package was £150 including fitting, including SIM cards and everything. Uh, not, not bad, not cheap, not, not dear. Uh, good quality camera. Uh, also had a delivery today from Flat Dog. A lot of people know who Flat Dog are. They're, uh, the people in Lincolnshire who make an awful lot of very very good accessories for vehicles make a good rack called the flat rack here's my wife in uh, pink uh, thanks for the coffee um, and she's actually fetched it in a Huey mug, mug. anyway um, flat dog makes some great stuff uh, flat racks one of them uh, their roof racks uh, are exceptionally good. Anyway, I must have been a bit bored again this week because apart from the camera uh, for the car, I bought a flat dog basket for the back of the Discovery 2. So it uh, hangs up in the roof lining and it, it, it's somewhere to put your wet jackets, scarves, hats, gloves, anything out of the way that you need to be able to grab. It's a good thing to have. Uh, a bit of a luxury uh, but our discovery team is going to do a lot of work in the future and I want that car spot on and it, it, it nearly is it's nearly finished very few things to do to it now getting there so moving on from uh, my uh, wild expenditure um, I bought a toolbox, I mean, toolbox the other day uh, from uh, Sealy online I think it was about £55 including that. Once you shut the lid, the 
drawers are locked and it's, it's a pretty secure item. Obviously, if that's in the back of your car and it's full of tools and you have an accident, it can fly around. Uh, and, and we don't want that. We don't want anybody being hit on the head with a, any toolbox because I think the toolbox will win. So the idea with the toolbox is that and anything that we have in the back of our vehicles, we have an elastic uh, netting uh, uh, system that far hooks and it covers everything and it takes um, the uh, force out of anything if you uh, it was to hit a bump in the road or anything and everything moved up and down a bit or whatever uh, so we, we do take that into consideration in fact i haven't got the net in here it's in the back of the toyota uh, the toyota's uh, our land cruiser 150 that's also having a bit of a, a makeover it's got a split charging system being fitted at rcm at the moment it's got a new rear receiver that uh, we just imported from America for um, uh, recovery and hopefully in the next week or so the new winch bumper will all arrive from Spain very very excited about that so there's a lot going on but I'm talking about toolboxes and the idea is that this vehicle, uh, this toolbox can be picked up and put in the back of either of our vehicles now what I've been guilty of in the past, and there, there, there is the guilt, everything is just chucked in the toolbox, and there you are in the middle of Morocco, the Balkans, and you're jumping up and down for tools at the side of the road, and you run your hand across that, and that hurts, and then you prickle yourself with a wire brush, and it, it, it's not bright, it's not clever, and it needs sorting out. So, another thing I do wrong is I have all the spanners in the world with me, and yet I carry a Halfords um, socket set, uh, so socket ratchets, and everything, and it's all in a case, and I take it and, and I use that. So, I'm carrying a load of bits and pieces I don't need. Um, the weight, there's a lot of weight in there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to put anti-slip matting into the new, new toolbox. Getting that in place. So cut all that out. I'm going to use some small double-sided tape. This is, uh, it's actually uh, used on number plates, double-sided tape. But if you put a blob of that on each corner of the rubber mat and it'll stop that sl sliding around as well so I've got a few things to do I'm going to fill this toolbox up with what's necessary I'm going to see what's left I think quite a bit actually because when I've double checked how many spanners I'm carrying uh, too many and bits and pieces I am, I'm hopefully going to have a big pile of stuff here that I'm not taking with me in the future also, it's a bit of over, overkill if we're just working in the UK, uh, so there's no harm in having a tool bag with quick tools, pliers, screwdrivers, um, Stanley knife, those sort of things, uh, just, just things that an emergency tool. I would still carry that with me anyway, but if I was only working in the UK, I would carry a little tool, uh, tool kit with that, uh, that's in there, there's about a hundred different things in there and to be fair that'll deal with most of the stuff I need to deal with in the UK and after all in the UK we can call out uh, the emergency services AARAC. This is more about when we're really travelling. So I'm going to turn off now, I'm going to come back to you when I've got it all loaded up and we'll see how much I've got rid of.
Right, we're back. And I'm sorted. In the top of the tray, lots of little consumables. Um, special tool from Land Rover for uh, UJ uh, nuts and bolts on defenders. Wheel bearing, special tool again. A few things like uh, a shock pump, a lighter, a couple of daft things. These are called trim removers, but they can be used for so many other different things. They're quite useful to have with you. Uh, hammer at the top, uh, super glue, standard knife blades, tank tape, carpet tape, whatever you want to call it, double sided tape, uh, insulation tape. All these things are in the top. Nice and meaty hammer. Then after that, the only things that are in here, punches, cable ties, assorted um, multi-head uh, Allen screws, uh, different names that these days, a long armed wrench, mini wrench, then I've got some sockets that are not in the Halfords kit. So some deep sockets there, some impact there, small screwdrivers that are not in that set. And then down in the bottom some um, gloves, uh, a uh, ball joint splitter, a jimmy bar, We've got the uh, wire brush, but a small one rather than the big one. I've also got a hacksaw there. And that is me done. Put the gloves back in. Because everything else is in the Halfords kit. Now that's the kit that I go to nine times out of 10. Uh, it, 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 it has everything. The great thing about the Halfords uh, gear as well, it's a lifetime guarantee. It's called um, Halfords Advanced. They do bigger boxes than this, but this is a pretty good reasonable size. Some impact uh, sockets there. And that and that, now I was going to sort it. So, everything I'm not going to be carrying. Another important thing that uh, I carry these days and it's a Draper impact driver for taking uh, nuts off with anything really but it primarily used as a um, uh, for removing the wheel nuts on a, on a punctured vehicle, on a, on a vehicle with a puncture. It's also got a torque setting on it, which is pretty good for when we're putting them back on. It's, uh, it's always spot on. It's a 20 volt one. Believe it or not, that Draper gun with the reciprocating saw, a grinder and a driller was about 140 pounds for the lot. So this is not a lot of money. And if we were to do something stupid and leave it in the grass at the side of the road, I'm probably not gonna cry. Uh, it's, uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit for the money. So in future, Halford's kit, toolbox, impact gun, and then I do have Another smaller box with things like um, assorted cable ties, all the you know little nuts and bolts, uh, stuff like that, and, and they go usually in one of the side pockets of uh, of uh, the vehicle I'm using, uh, so I can get some easily. I do carry bars. Uh, radiator leak stops coolant leaks now anybody knows that that is the last thing you want to be putting in your engine but if you're in the middle of uh, the balkans the sahara desert 
remote areas that can be a lifesaver so we carry that as well and the rest of the stuff is uh, is not really connected with tools we do have other stuff with us uh, but you, you would say like um, we have the chainsaws, the battery operated uh, stealth chainsaws these days. Uh, the amount of, uh, come across a tree down, the amount of damage that the baby can do is staggering. Uh, just, it doesn't take too much space. Very good, very good make. And, and that about sums it up. So, not going to talk anymore about tools. I, uh, I think I've covered that. That box is now going to go with us on our treks. I only don't have any room for my small figure for my WD-40, but that's not the end of the world. I can think of places where uh, we can put that. A funny little story about small figure. We were in Mizuga in uh, uh, Chevy, and we had a guy who helped us out at a garage. We had a, a lightweight, Series 3 lightweight. The back wheel was dropping off. Uh, we needed new nuts and bolts and washers and bits and pieces to put it all back together. And he went down all, all around town. We managed to get everything uh, back together. And he, he was black bright by the end of it. So I went to the back of the car and I got a tub of swarf figure out. I says, thank you very much. And before I could stop him, he put his hand in it and ate the swell figure. So in future, if I do that, I need to tell the guy it's for cleaning your hands with, not for eating. Uh, I think we nearly all, all threw up uh, when he did that, but he did it so quick we, we, we couldn't stop. Anyway, we digress as usual. Russell goes off with different tangents. It's dark now in Yorkshire. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's getting cold. These guys who do these um, vlogs, Ronnie Dahl and Andrew St. Pierre White, why is it always sunshiny when they're doing it? Why, you know, they're not just brilliant at doing what they do, they've also got the weather. Me, I've got my man cave. There you go. Okay, over and out to the next time. Bye.